Hey, you. Who, me? Yes, you. Blue. Cat Tion. Please just look. What? 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 Say that again. One over one. Um, gonna go into a very short video. Uh, being a couple of days since the last time I actually posted one, I'm celebrating uh, here for you just saying something that, again, hope is not a strategy, but I see this uh, reversal on Xnet uh, based on the low of this candle right here, 430, uh, that we were discussing while the live stream we get uh, rear. 4.30 as well, if you noticed, uh, we can put a trend line here so that you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. And I know that you were along, and I apologize to all of you guys that I'm directing the start of the video to somebody uh, right here. And uh, we were come all the way to the low of this uh, candle right here on this uh, 15 minute time frame bear flag after this plunge this last few days xnet have had a few decent days and this morning we are coming down pretty strong got a little reversal here this uh, candle right here we're having a little re reversal but the reason why i wanted to make this video um is is because of the trade that i took this one this has been the only one that i traded today and uh, it's on MNKR uh, today based on a one minute time frame entry right now you can see that it's just going sideways though it's, it's really not doing a lot but right here I was looking at the formation uh, based on the one minute though and you know, he provided something if you look at that it's just right here at the break of that five minute candle i was actually expecting to have another five minute candle around here this doji uh, but i took a trade here i was looking for a break down it didn't really work out if you look at right here we had a low of 1428 and on this one we had a low of 1429 so it didn't really break down but we had a reversal and a break of that formation right here over the high of this one minute candle 1440 and and then this one 1443 1450 for me being right here the high of this candle on this shooting star formation the one being pretty strong 1450 being half dollar resistance was actually uh, the point that I decided at the break out of that level was going to be the best entry for a long trade since the a breakdown here on this pen formation the one minute time frame didn't really work and I took that trade in there uh, looking to get towards the $15 the reason why I said $15 is going back here if you look at the daily uh, formation going all the way back uh, on the last year we cannot really see some resistance so I couldn't base my trade all out of the daily candles out of the daily support or resistance so I had to look for something else and the next level that for me was actually clear uh, would have been that uh, round dollar area uh, at the $15 area for that resistance so I was looking for the move there uh, while we were uptrending uh, I was taking took some out at the high of this level right here on this candle the 14 uh, actually was actually 1469 a little pullback I took some out because I wanted to get paid because I was looking for at least a quarter but then I noticed if you guys remember uh, on the live stream for those of you that were there I was telling that uh, the best decision for me would have been and, and will be to take something out this is what I told you guys or probably all of it around the 25 cent area for me being 14.75 at the break of the 14.50 uh, and it's because it, we were having a little tiny a uh, little bit of uh, consolidation and uh, the volume bars were showing a decrease in the momentum I didn't really like that and I told you guys that I, I was actually expecting to see a five minute red candle happen anytime soon 
and that was around here if you look at right there uh, on top on the one minute time frame candles you're gonna see that he had this doji and there I, I felt like it, it was actually the point for me to not be inside of that trade anymore so um, I just wanted to bring you this really tiny trade and the reasoning behind the trade and the thinking that I had really inside of that trade while I was live streaming with you guys uh, this morning and um, I know that uh, there's been a, a few days for me not uploading any videos and I, I really wanted to follow up with the content of the channel. I uh, also wanted to let you know guys that for those of you that want to go back and watch the live stream, you're probably not going to find it on YouTube, uh, but if they are archived on uh, traderscolony.com and again, and you can find out content all for free on uh, traderscolony.com so you can watch the live stream, the ideas um, of the market while it's open and even in pre-market hours when I'm actually building up the pre-market watch list. Uh, to start the trading day uh, for now I'm gonna let you guys go and thank you for listening enjoy the rest of your day and happy trading